Welcome to part two of showing you my perfumes. The dogs will be barking a bit in the video. Just the one dog. The other dog won't bark, but the one dog will bark. Uh, and I'll try to cut it out if I can. So let's do these guys, because these are not real perfumes, they're body sprays from good old Bath and Body Works. This one is Fresh Sparkling Snow. It smells like champagne, very sweet champagne. And I spray it in my room in the wintertime. I don't use it as a perfume, I use it as a room scent. These things are huge and they last forever. I've had this for so many years and I'm still not done with it. I have another room spray somewhere around here that's also bamboo scented. Um, I don't know where it is. So technically I have that and I have one more that's downstairs because there was a spot on the couch that smelled funny. So and I've got this guy, Sweet Cranberry Rose. I don't really like this, so I've barely used it. There's nothing wrong with it, it's just not... It's not quite... It literally, it smells like Sweet Cranberry Rose. Very aptly named. It, it's a good scent. I just don't super care for it. But you know what? Maybe I'll try using it this year. Because um, it, it really doesn't smell too bad. Okay, then this one is uh, Dark Kiss. Uh, I think this is from my sister. It smells like, it smells like rose, but uh, I don't know, rose, it smells like Dark Kiss. That's what it smells like. <laughs> also barely used any of that, and it's dusty as well. Okay, so then we've got... Uh, let's do this. I guess this is from my mom. She almost never wore this perfume, and I liked it when I was younger. So she gifted it to me. And look, at it's so big. You know, it's... 3.3 fluid ounces. 3.3. It's a lot. This is like a very classic floral scent. I haven't used it in years. I just keep it around because it's part of the collection. And the bottle's kind of pretty. It's a, it's a sweet floral. Nothing, nothing very fancy about it. But a good spring scent, I would say. And yeah, I should wear it more often. Really. Like I own it. Might as well. Okay, then I've got these three Vera Lang scents. This one is Periwinkle and Iris. This is my least favorite of the three, so I haven't used it that much. It's, um, it's an underwhelming floral scent. And it's leaning a little bit too far into smelling like alcohol. For my particular tastes. I like this square bottle. I'm just, I just don't love it. Called embrace. Goodbye. And then we've got uh, they're all called embrace. Magnolia and gardenia. I like this one a lot. Again, as established, magnolia smells nice and gardenia. Oh. If you smell gardenias, they are a gorgeous smelling flower. They're just really, really nice. Well, that's a nice step. It's just a pure floral, like, sweet. They're, the gardenias are a very sweet flower, but it's a pure floral scent. There's not anything else in there. And then this one. Where is the lid for this guy? There it is. Green tea and pear blossom. Oh, it smells like green tea and pear blossom. And I like it so much, it's almost all gone. I don't know where to get more of it. I love pear scented, usually, 
Julia has a gun, has a pear, pear ink scent, and I don't look it because it's got a funny edge to it. So, yeah, but this one, green team, it literally, that's what it literally smells like, and it's, it was so good, I used it a lot. Okay, then we've got a whole heap of DKNY. We've got DKNY Nectar Love in this funky looking, oh, look it's me, funky looking bottle with a little flower butterfly doohickey on it. And the lid looks like this, comes off. The whole one is not funny. This is not my favorite anymore because it's a uh, like a really sweet musky scent, so I don't wear it very often. I haven't worn it much at all, judging by the level of the perfume. Sometimes you're just in the mood for it, and if you mix it with something else, it makes it more a scent I enjoy. Running out of space over here. I need a better place, a better way to keep my perfumes. I really do. Okay, then we've got lots of round guys. I love the shape of these. This is uh, Be Tempted Oh So Blush. And this smells like. This smells like if blush was a perfume. Uh, and then it was a little bit sweet. That's literally what it smells like. It smells better when it's on the skin, though. Um, when it, you're just smelling it, you're like, that's, that's kind of a boring perfume scent, but it does smell better when it mixes into the skin. Still, I haven't used a ton of it. Uh, this one and Nectar Love I both got on clearance when Kohl's was getting rid of its beauty section because we were getting Sephora. Um, and I was like, why not? <laughs> so, that's that guy. Then I've got, uh, Be Delicious, this old, I thought, yeah, I've got this one. Is this one? Yeah, this is almost used up. That's why you can't really see it. It's there at the bottom. But I kept it for some reason. And I loved this so much that I requested, oh my goodness, I'm knocking my camera around. I requested my mom get me a new one, and she did. <laughs> so now I have three of this one perfume in three different sizes, mini, smaller, and bigger. And honestly, like this, I love it says 100% pure New York, yeah, New York smells like the green apple perfume. <laughs> I do really like this scent. Because it's a cheaper perfume though, it doesn't last as long. So I usually I'll spray this in the morning and then later I'll get a top up from a different perfume in Sephora. But I've used, I've used this guy. You can see I've used it. It's fun to play with in your hands because it's such a nice shape. And I've got more than one of these. I have a lot less of the full-size perfumes than the mini ones. <clears throat> I also have the Red Delicious. And Red Delicious was my favorite. And then Green Delicious was my favorite. And then this one was my favorite again. And now neither of them are my favorite. Um, my favorite is a cross between... Wild Poppy and Magnolia Bliss. I like both of them. They're both my favorites right now, I think. But I get new ones because there's other things I like, and I'm not always in the mood to smell like the same thing every time. I don't want, like, a signature scent. I just want to smell however I want to smell for my mood on that particular day. If you're wondering why I'm always on the left side, it's because of the way I'm seated, so as not to uh, ruin my back, and my knee is in the way of 
holding things properly. <laughs> Sorry about that. These ones don't make the greatest tapping sounds. Okay, then we've got this one. This is a knockoff perfume, but it smells really good. Floral honeysuckle. Top notes are green leaves, orange honeysuckle, middle notes, jasmine sambac, tuberose, but base notes are orris, sandalwood, and vanilla. And this is a really good perfume. It's knockoff, but it is so good. It smells so sweet. I love the way honeysuckle smells. And this just smells like honeysuckle, but in a perfume. And then you get to smell like honeysuckle, and it is the greatest. My throat is getting so dry, I'm going to drink some apple cider. Okay. <laughs> the air at work is really dry, and a lot of us sneeze often. And when we've been talking a lot that day, say, checking out a lot of people, our throats get so dry, and mine was so dry today. Two videos, I guess. So, we've got one more to go, and then we will refill. I've stopped counting, but we'll go back to it. This is, was my second most recent perfume. This is Aqua di Gioia. I don't know how you pronounce that, but also by Giorgio Armani. This is... My only, like, citrus foresty scent, but I really like it. It's got this fun, ugh, this fun lid on it. Can you read? Come on, read that. Oh, it's hard to catch the light. There we go. There it is. And I told my mom to get me the travel size, and she got me the full size. The small one, but still. Tell your mom to not spend too much money on you, and then she does anyway. So, it's a fun shape. I like the shape of this bottle. I'm very strategic about buying my perfumes. I always do it when I have coupons or a chance to earn bonus points. It's gonna earn me, you know, extra rewards or something. Like, I don't just buy perfume whenever I want it. If there's a sale on something, I'm, I'm very meticulous about that. I rarely do I buy something just because I want it. I'll notice that I want something, and then I'll wait for the opportune moment. Other things in here include uh, an earring. I don't recognize this actually. <laughs> when was this in there? <laughs> Since when? Let's put that over there. And this thing. Oh, and some random bits of garbage. I can throw those away. Goodbye, random bits of garbage. All right. This thing I made years ago. Years, 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 years. And it's just a little circlet thing to wear with, like, a costume when you're trying to be a princess or an elf or something. And I just, I made it with wire and beads. Nothing fancy, but I have used it for many a costume over the years. Many years ago. This was from, like, junior high, maybe also high school. Anyway, I don't know why I keep it in my perfume basket. Maybe let's take that out and put it somewhere else. There. It's out. Okay, so let's fill up the basket again. Put the Bath and Body Works scents in first. Ah. Uh, 
my perfume given from my mom years ago when I was like, oh, maybe 13 for that one, maybe 13, okay. Then we'll fill it in order of preference. We've got Periwinkle and Iris, that can go at the back. We've got Nectar Love, don't really like that guy. Um, then we've got our two, I should throw this out, I really think there isn't really anything left. Then we've got Be Delicious, Be Delicious, Be Delicious again, why do I keep that? Be Tempted, also blush. Then I could put, this is a regular size, I could put that in here. Versace Bright Crystal, oh my goodness. I'm Do you, however you say it, aqua, floral honeysuckle guy, yeah. Now I could put all of my, oh we should count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I need a better way to store these. Nineteen, twenty, Ugh, come on, twenty one, twenty two. These two don't count because it's 23, 24. Okay, this is counting the duplicates too. Okay, counting duplicates 25, 26, whatever, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 33, 34, 35, 36. I also have a lush solid perfume in my purse, the dirty one. So 36, is that? So removing, we have three green, so my, so 33. No, 30. Four, thirty-three, thirty-two, thirty-one, four, forty, thirty. I think I have thirty perfumes, thirty different scents, and most of them are small. But I don't really count these as perfumes. So twenty-seven. That's not too bad, right? That's pretty bad. <laughs> like, what an expensive thing to start collecting. But I wear them. I wear perfume every single day. I am using them up. You know? It's not like they're just sitting there in their pretty bottles. Having no purpose. I wear perfume every day, whether I'm going to work or not because it makes me feel good to wear something in small nights. So, that was my perfume collection. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time, sleepyheads. Good night.